Good morning, IBC. Happy Thursday. Um, we miss you all, and I'm super excited to be able to share this morning um, our IBC 260 devotional. I hope you're reading with us through the reading plan, but I'm excited to share with you what I got out of the devotion this morning on Thursday. Um, but really, I want you all to know your staff misses you. We miss meeting together. We miss um, our students on Wednesday nights. I miss them tremendously. Uh, but I know that God's going to use this for good and that we are going to come back together at some point and it's going to be even more joyful um, to worship together. So I want to talk about 1 Corinthians chapter 2 this morning is our IBC reading plan. Um, and Paul is discussing in, in chapter 1 of 1 Corinthians, and he's talking to the Corinthian church and he's saying, man, there's so many divisions among the church and there's so many problems and there's, uh, there's people that are coming and they want to follow different leaders and they want to follow different teachings and Paul says, stop all of those things. He says, be unified in the same understanding and the same conviction in chapter 1. And then we pick up in chapter 2 today, and Paul really starts uh, distinguishing between human wisdom and godly wisdom. And so my highlight verse this morning for our here journal was verses 4 and 5 of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And it says this, my speech and my preaching were not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of the Spirit's power, so that your faith might not be based on human wisdom, but on God's power. And so out of that, the highlight in that for me is that our faith, Paul is calling us to have a faith that's based on God's power rather than human wisdom. And so I started reading some commentaries, and I wanted to read to you something I found that just kind of compare and contrast Human wisdom, earthly wisdom versus God's wisdom. And this is what it says. While earthly wisdom says always follow your heart, godly wisdom tells us in Jeremiah 17, 9 that the heart is deceitful above all things. While earthly wisdom says seeing is believing, godly wisdom tells us in John 20, 29 that blessed are those who have not seen yet have believed. While earthly wisdom says love your family and friends, godly wisdom tells us in Matthew chapter 5, verses 43 through 47, to also love your enemies and bless them. While earthly wisdom says there are many ways to God, godly wisdom tells us in Acts 4.12, there's only one way to God, and that's through Jesus Christ. And then I would add to that, while earthly wisdom would ask the question, why does God allow bad things to happen to good people? Godly wisdom would then respond with 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, when it says, No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no heart can conceive what God has planned for those who love Him. The explanation here is that Paul is calling all of us, be unified in the same understanding, be unified in the same conviction, and have a faith that's based on God's wisdom rather than human wisdom or our understanding. And so explaining that is this, um, God says... Hey, you don't have to understand it. You don't have to comprehend everything that's going on. You, you don't have to know the reasons. And so then we apply that to our life. We say we can't explain. We may not understand. We may not see the light at the end of the tunnel. But we do know there's a God and His power and His sovereignty. He's in control. And so we have to let our faith be based on God's power instead of on human wisdom. Because God's doing something bigger than we can see. God is in an act of bringing restoration to the world around us. And sometimes it's hard to see that. And so my response to that this morning is just a prayer for you, a prayer for all of us that um, our, our perspective would be changed, that it wouldn't be, God, what are you doing? But instead it would be, God, how can we join you in bringing your kingdom to the earth today? In the midst of all of this, in the midst of craziness, how can we join you in bringing your kingdom to the earth? How can we live out a faith-based on God's power rather than on our understanding. Thanks for watching this morning, obviously. We love you. We miss you. I hope you're having an awesome week. Have a great Thursday. <music>